Hello, hello, Stevie. Hi, yes, that's me. Hi. A woman called Stevie. Now I've seen everything. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the best driving school of motoring, BDSM for short, and your very first pop at virtual driving, BD for short. Now, COVID may be killing your grandma, Stevie, but it won't be killing your ability to learn how to drive. <sighs> okay. Um, yeah, it, it feels weird, doesn't it, doing it online? My boyfriend was saying that it's sort of impossible, but actually, here we are. Oh, your, your boyfriend said that, did he? Yes, he was just, yeah. And is your boyfriend an accredited driving instructor? Has he even completed a certificate four in transport and logistics, open brackets, road transport, hyphen car driving instruction, close brackets, TLI 41216? <laughs> no, I don't think he has, no. Oh, can you ask him for me? Could you ask him if he's got a certificate four in transport and logistics, open brackets, road transport, hyphen car driving instruction, close brackets, TLI 41216? No, oh, I don't need to. He definitely doesn't have that. Oh, well, maybe tell him to get a certificate four in transport and logistics, open brackets, road transports, hyphen, car driving instruction, close brackets, TLI 41216. And then maybe we'll listen to his opinion about how you teach someone to drive. Understood. Yes. Um, although I suppose common sense to say if we're going to learn to drive, we'll have to be in a car at some point, won't we? Oh, right. You're... You're someone with common sense, are you, Stevie? Well, I think so. Yeah. Oh, OK. Well, tell me, Stevie, with all this common sense you've got, if you were learning brain surgery, right, one day one, would you just pop along to the theatre with a bread knife and just saw open someone's head and poke around a bit, just have a go? No, I no, obviously not. No. But I just thought, you know, driving a car isn't exactly brain surgery, is it? No, and you're dead right there, Stevie. Driving a car is far more dangerous and complicated than brain surgery, which is why no one drives a human brain to work. Do you know how many people die in brain surgery every day? Go on, have a guess, do you know? Uh, no. Can you I, even guess? I can't even guess. Can you guess? You can't even guess. It's zero, Stevie. Zero people on average per day. Uh, do you know how many people die behind the wheel of a car, Stevie? 10,000 people a day in the UK alone. Really? So maybe you haven't got common sense after all, have you, Stevie? Maybe rather than thinking your royalty who needs to be in a car when they're learning how to drive, you'll sit back and listen to someone who can actually drive and let them teach you how to drive. Because, Stevie, with all your common sense oozing out of you like breast milk, oh, you can't even drive, can you, Stevie? You can't even drive. I can. Right. I think we've got off on the wrong foot here, and I'm really, really sorry about that. That's probably my fault. I want you to know that I'm really happy to go ahead with it. Um, I've paid 20 lessons in advance, so... Yeah, in entitling you to 10% off lesson 21, I should add. Oh, yes, thank you. Well, no, thank you, female Stevie. You may be right. Maybe I've, it's got a bit overheated. Let's rewind. We're going to start from the beginning. The clock is still running. That time has still been used up. Uh, my name is Peter Dibdin, and I will be your instructor for this online course. Now, I know you're going to have lots of rules and facts and figures flying around in your head, and it can be very easy to forget people's names. It's fine. I've got it lodged. <laughs> but fret not, because luckily for you, I have written a simple poem to help you remember my name. It's called The Remembering Peter Dibdin's Name Poem, and it goes like this. Honestly, I'm really okay. P is for professional, because that is what I am. E is for expert, and yes, I give a damn. Oh, sorry, I should have checked beforehand. Um, it is protocol because of trigger warnings. I, are you happy with me saying the word damn? Uh, we're not allowed to just say that anymore. We do have to check. Uh, I can change it to darn if you've got an issue. And that is quite funny because it's a, a comedic misdirect in the rhyme. Yeah, no, that's fine. I don't mind darn. I just don't, also don't need a rhyme to remember your name. Like, it's Mr. Dibton. It comes up on Zoom just there. And also I've got it written down over there and on a poster on my wall um, over there. So Peter Dibton. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. You, you think you know already know my name? Yeah. Yes. I, I, I suppose you already know how to drive, Stevie. I suppose you're an expert driver. Are you? Am I being punked here? Are you punking me right now? No, no, no. I just don't need help to remember your name. That's it. <laughs> I could see you were going to be trouble when you came in here. Yeah. Stevie, I could tell it. You're a, you're a firebrand, aren't you? You're... No, I don't think I yes, am. Yes, you're a troublemaker, aren't you? I'm not a troublemaker, no. You're I'm... a feminist. No, I'm. yes, I am, but that's not relevant to this, I don't think. Stevie, 
Oh, oh, Stevie, would you like to teach me how to drive? What? You seem to know all about it. You know, sorry if I'm doing it all wrong. Maybe you would like to teach me how to drive because I don't know how to do this job after 30 years. No, I just already know your name. That's it. So maybe I should sit back and let you teach me how to drive. You, who can't even drive, you could teach me how to drive. You can't even drive, even though you're 40. Oh, I'm 32. Really? Yes. My nephew Chris passed his test one second into his 17th birthday. And what's wrong with you? 32 years old and you can't even drive. It's pathetic. But I couldn't afford the lessons. I can't really afford them now, if I'm honest. I, I just, that's why I would really like to learn how to drive and not just waste my time on poems and stuff. I already know. <laughs> and I'd like to be able to fly and poop chocolate drops into the hands of the poor starving children. But I can't do that. Can I, Stevie? But you know what? If I was paying someone to teach me how to fly and how you poop chocolate buttons into the hands of starving children, I would be polite enough to listen to what they had to say. Fine, go ahead. Well, I'll have to... I'm all in a tizzy. I'm going to have to start from the beginning. I hope you'll listen properly this time. P is for professional, because that is what I am. E is for expert. And yes, I give a darn. You see? <laughs> yeah, see? It's very funny. T is for the traffic we'll meet along the way. E is for emergency stop when danger comes to stay. Oh. I can start from the beginning again if you're going to take the mickey. No. I will. I'll start. I'll go right back every time. No, please don't. R is for roundabout. On approaching, take note and act on all information available to you, including traffic signs, traffic lights, and lane markings, which will direct you to the correct lane. New word, D is for driving. It is my job how to do that to explain. Are you taking the mickey? No. Because I can carry on. No. I is for indicators that go both left and right. B is for my headlight bulbs that brighten up the night. It doesn't headlight start with H, though. Headlight bulb, Stevie. B. Well, you could just use brakes, braking. D is still for driving. Were you even listening the first time? I is for indicators. I've said that already. Will you please pay attention to my rhyme? And N is for neutral gear that you must begin and end every journey in. Put it together. What have you got? My name is... Peter Dibden. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, so the poem you were so sarcastic about has worked and helped you to remember my name. I think she's got it. Great. Now, can we get on with the driving lesson, please? All in good time, Stevie. Can you just repeat back the poem to me, please? What? Repeat back the remembering Peter Dibden's name poem, please, just to check you took all that in. Yeah, your name is Peter Dibden. I know it. But have you learned the poem that reminds you of my name? I'm paying £45 a lesson here, Mr Dibden. I'd just like to get on to the driving part of it. Driving a car is all about procedure, Stevie. And before we get in our virtual car, which is admittedly not as dangerous as an actual car, but is still dangerous. It's the equivalent danger of taking a bath in a bar full of COVID-19. I would just like to hear the poem, please. For fuck's sake. Swear words are the tools of fools. P is p professional. Good, because? That is what I am. Good, it's what I am, but I'll let it pass, yes. D is for emergency stop. Oh, 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 oh dearie me. The first D, I think, Stevie, rather than jumping straight to the second D. <laughs> unless you think it, the, the rhyme is P is for professional, because that is what I am. E is for emergency stop when danger comes to stay. I mean, that does not rhyme. That is not going to help you remember anything, is it? What you think? Yeah, it's, you're a fool. It's very confusing because the same letters are used for different things, but then sometimes they're used for the same thing. So it's, it's very... <laughs> Yeah, it is confusing. And you know what, Stevie? Driving a car is confusing. Driving a car out there on your own like you can't do because you can't even drive. That is confusing with the headlights blaring in your face and the horns blasting you up the tailpipe and all the stopping distance just continually going round and round on a loop in your mind. Never ending, of course, it's confusing. So if you find a simple poem confusing, Stevie, then I don't think you are ready to get into a car. I think it's a good job we're giving you 20 lessons outside of the car before you even think of stepping in a car because you can't even drive. You can't even remember the remembering Peter Dibdin poem. It's pathetic. Can I have my money back, please? 
No, no refunds. And I would like to hear the poem. Tell me the poem. Tell me the remembering Peter Dibden's name poem now. P is for professional, because that is what I am. Correct. E is for expert. Yes. Because Was it so hard? I don't give a damn. I do give a damn. I... That's the whole point. I'm not, I, of course I give a damn. What do you think I'm doing? There's quite I'm... a lot of words to remember in yes, the poem. Yes, it is. It is, but when you've got it, you'll know my name. It's P Peter Dibden. T T. T I don't know traffic. Traffic. Because it's on. We'll... <sighs> Where are we going to meet it? Along the. Along the motorway. Pathetic. I think my, my nephew Simon knows this. He's three years old. Teach him to drive. I can't. He's not allowed legally. Check the highway code. <sighs>